Hello everyone, this is Trekkie1701C, and we're going to go ahead and finish our playthrough of FS Port. Well, not finish it, but continue it. Still a lot to go. The GTS Asmov and the GTC Ravage are under attack in the Antarctic okay, system. Okay, so, uh, red alert mission. The GTS Asmov was working on Project Tsunami, which involves hyperactive substances. These substances are extremely volatile. If the Asmov is destroyed, the reagents are likely to reach critical mass. Analysis predicts a shockwave of up well, to 5 kilometers in radius. Good. The station is in bad shape. We need to clear the area, then transport the scientists out of there. Secure, the GTT Spawner will jump in and retrieve the scientists. After they have been safely evacuated, return to base. So it looks like we're going to have to yeah, five, make sure this here. ship survives yeah, no because otherwise, so you'll need to use what you um, I think Suit we're up. going to You're get blown up. And uh, it won't let me do any ship selection or like weapon loadout, but it's been good to me previously on the default, so let's jump right in. Let's see, I've got. Ooh, that's not the same as what they've been doing, so... Let's see how this goes. 50%. Don't know how much more we can take. I'm jumping in with their hole at 50%. That's not a uh, good sign. I can't really remember how this mission ends. I mean, it wouldn't surprise me if they set it up so that that ship's going to explode and you get nuked if you're too close. Got bombers. We need to make sure they go out because otherwise they will rip it apart. Like you can see, there it's already dropped to 39 percent, and it's only been a few seconds. Right. Let's see if we can't take this bomber out here. Okay, he's gone. We need to take out this next bomber. Can't let them get close to the Asmov here. Otherwise, probably going to die because. Uh, at last check, it looks like we're just slightly within that 5 kilometer blast radius, and uh, I know the engine can actually support blast radius that size, so. Uh, I'm, I'm going to believe them when they say that it will explode like that. The good thing is, it, sh it seems like the Sheevans aren't actually using bombs on their bombers. I mean, that doesn't mean that the bombers the are uh, will be arriving soon. Keep the not a threat, secure. but they they definitely uh, are not doing everything they could. It right, looks like the transport is coming in. Rearming complete, sir. Got new missiles, all seven of them. New bandits in the area! Looks like there's also bombers here. Let's go ahead and target them first because, like I said, they are the big threat. So, of course, with the Asmov as weak as it is, the fighters can also do damage, just uh, not quite as quickly as the bombers. Like, uncheck the bomber wing there could probably destroy it within about three or four seconds. Just with their primary weapons, not using any bombs or any specialized missiles or anything like that. Okay, is that a missile or is that a bomb? No, that's a regular missile. Right, so let's take out the fighters now. Surprised that they equipped the fighter with a ML-16. But then again, maybe the in-story excuse is they were uh, Roger, sir. On our in way. the middle of retrofitting the fighters or something like that, but that seems weird that they're the ones that would be available. I be using the Free Space 1 models for this thing because it doesn't look quite as good as I remember looking in Free Space 2, uh, or at least that specific ship class. Scientists are safe. Clear out the rest of the hostiles and return to the Galate. Aw, oh, we don't get to see it explode. Well, 
guess we did a good enough job and this was a short mission so I think I'll do a two-parter here. So let's just go ahead and jump out. Great job, pilot. Conspicuous gallantry. All the data for projects. Uh, I didn't even have to crash into anything. Should be completed within days. The crew of the GTC Ravage thanks you for saving their lives. The Shivans will find their assault on Antares far more difficult with the Ravage on board. I thought the Shivans had a destroyer that couldn't be harmed at all. I don't see how they would find it more difficult with a single cruiser. I mean, they. It seems like even if the cruiser fought really hard, if you can't harm them, but they can harm you. Uh, it doesn't seem like it would be uh, a very hard fight. Control, this is boarding party Bravo 2, entering disabled freighter. Roger, Bravo 2. Keep the chatter to a minimum. That's a case in point the right there of uh, what the happens when you can't area. hurt the enemy and they can hurt you. The uh, I mean, they definitely fought bad, but that did not go well. The VPE and, the GTA have been uh, and those uh, cybernetic things you saw, that we those were actually the Sheevans. Uh, so Fortunately, we have some new tools that's to what they look like, uh, at least with like really crappy Our first graphics new weapon is the Phoenix 5 anti-bomber warhead. This missile can puncture even the thickest Looks of like shields. Looks like we've got uh, new weapons here. against larger targets, like freighters. So, uh, More higher damage missile. We oh, cool, and the Medusa. Uh, this Medusa is actually a bomber that I really, really liked playing in Free Space 2. Uh, I'm not going to go to the tech room and bore you with all the details. The new tsunami bomb is okay, the and this is probably the, uh, be carried by the Medusas. Just a weapons few research that they were doing. Uh, the of light I'm going to guess it probably won't using this blow up to 5 kilometers because that outputs. would be game-breaking and also uh, rather dangerous. I wouldn't want to be anywhere near it. Here in the Antares system, we have detected a small HOL base of operations. Your squadron is being okay, sent so to eliminate it. Simple shoot at students type thing. She's we'll transport uh, then jump back to the Galate. Pair of Galate will be bomber wings you in case the and gets fighter out of control. wings. Good luck. Okay, so let's see what ships we're allowed to fly. Uh, I think I am going to actually try out the Medusa because I do like it and I do like running bombing missions. Let's see. Okay, I've got the tsunami bomb. 
Can I carry... Can't carry the Interceptors or the Fury. I can carry the Phoenix 5, though, so I'm gonna equip that. And that's all the ones there that I can have. Let's see. Got the Avenger Cannon and the ML-16. I think I'm gonna stick with the Avenger here. What the hell happened to the Hammer Outpost? Well... I'm reading nothing but Sheevans! Looks like we got beaten to the chase on this mission. Okay, and these are aspect lock missiles, yeah, so let's take them out. In an intense situation with Probably not the best trying to get into a dogfight with a bomber, but uh, yeah, oh well. Stand by. Excellent job, pilot. Okay, I probably should avoid those missiles. I like how we just launched for the Galate, but they're already engaged. So, like, were they immediately attacked, or... You know, I thought the Sheevans were going to find this much, much harder with that one little cruiser that we saved. Okay. Let's take out this bomber here. It looks like the last Sheevan. And, uh, so much for that being a large Sheevan presence that was, like, uh, so terrible we needed to call in a destroyer. Enemy wing has just arrived. They've sent in an additional two fighters here. They should go down pretty quickly. Support ship being deployed. I know it's interesting that the Galate is currently engaged, but uh, yet they can send me a support ship, which incidentally have absolutely no weapons and will actually pack quite a huge explosion if they were to explode. Galate, ready to assist. Okay, there it is. Glad to see the cavalry can make it. Man, there's no capital. Oh, actually, here we go. Two cruisers. I'm going to switch to my bombs. And I'm going to see what these tsunamis do. Uh, let's go ahead and tell my wing to uh, cover me. Oops, I took a little bit too long. Sir. Oh, no, I didn't. Okay. Like I said, these can be shot down. So I'm going to get in close and launch at the last second. There we go. Okay, I didn't do too much damage to him. Only 7%. And I've got a lot of missiles coming at me. Alright, uh, 10 seconds until I can fire again. Let's divert all power from engines to the shield. And in fact, let's see if I can... Nope, wrong button, wrong button, wrong button. Uh, let's see, I'm, I've got a mechanical keyboard here. Let's switch some more power that's actually set up properly. I don't use my mechanical keyboard because I uh, probably heard the clicks right there from it. It's uh, a little bit loud, but better than getting blown apart. And for some reason my missiles won't lock. And I'm out of afterburner. Target its engine so that maybe the missiles will actually try and lock on. Oh, that might be why. He's rearming. Damn. Okay, he's down to 67% now. I'm going to hit him with my other missiles while I wait for the bombs to reload. Because they do actually take quite a while to reload. Okay, uh give myself a little bit of engine power here so I can use my afterburner and try to avoid these missiles here. Not going quite as well, well as I remember bombing runs, but then again, don't have a lot of the things that made them easier in Free Space 2. That and this guy isn't really putting up any fight. So I could actually, it looks like my bomb didn't actually fire right there, so... Let's actually, uh, shoot him from a distance here and just finish him off. Because he's not going to last very long. There we go. This 
bomber might have some better engines in uh, Free Space 2 because I actually do remember it being a little bit uh, less sit there and shoot it and a little bit more dive bombing. Roger, sir. On our way. Alright. Probably divert power away from shields now and just equalize all that. Yeah, there's definitely a lot more uh, that goes on with the ships in Free Space 2 here because uh, with the Free Space 2 loadout of weapons and all that, uh, you would actually see the Galate shooting at the fighters and all that. Uh, I mean, it's, Galate is not the player's ship in uh, Free Space 2. They give you an actual, like, brand new spanking destroyer and all that. Because that takes place a few decades after this game does. See if I actually line up, I might actually be able to aim properly and maybe hit this guy a little bit. Instead of just firing wildly. See, he's down. Hopefully I got credited with those cruiser kills because there is actually an invisible point system. And uh, that is actually how you get promoted rank-wise. Uh, and I think also it's how you get ace uh, markings and all that. It doesn't really affect the gameplay at all, it's just basically achievements. Before there are achievements again. Just like the medals. Since those basically are just medals. But something hit me. Take him out and... Almost hit him. Battle area is clear. Entering subspace now. Oh, so not even gonna bother recovering us. Because that is the ship that we're based off of. Uh, like, uh, in the universe, if we were to go and land. Delta jumping out. Yeah, we would jump to the Galate and dock there. Beta Wing is out of here. Also, might note that it takes forever to reload when you're a bomber. Rearming sequence aborted. Well, let's go ahead and jump out. Don't know why he decided to abort there. He just kind of rammed me randomly. I mean, it was already docked to me, but I don't know what happened there. There we go. We are pleased that you were able to suppress service the Shivan influence in the Beta Aquilae system. Their arrival was unexpected, and battling the Shivans always takes a heavy toll on our forces. Fortunately, we can take some bitter comfort in the fact that they helped us eliminate the Hammer of Light presence in Beta Aquilae. In light of your recent achievements in protecting GTA space from the Shivan threat, we are awarding you with the Distinguished Service Cross. You are truly an outstanding pilot. Yep, I am truly a great pilot. Anyways, until next time, this is Trekkie1701C. Please remember to subscribe and rate.